Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. The Gold Conda is gaining an awful lot of interest lately. Those of you may remember the Gold Conda from the fourth Interstellar Initiative, where it was found in the Eupaniclis system near Eupaniclis B3. It had been by itself for centuries, and a virus outbreak and dwindling supplies meant it reached out for help. We saw the Federation and the Imperium go after control of the Golconda in regards to being that mediatory between modern day and old ways when the Golconda first came into being. So, Golconda could no longer support its population and both these superpowers launched that campaign to build a new permanent home for the colonists in Eupanicus, resulting in the construction of this outpost, Forrester's Choice. But now, the Dredger clans have turned up. There's been an awful lot of toing and froing back and forth, the Golconda and the Dredger that happens to be in system. What's this mean? What's it all about? Could this be a new story arc? Well, let's take a look. So the Golconda and its civilization is protected, you could say. A dredger clan is continuing to examine the abandoned generation ship Golconda in the Panicus system. The Golconda was placed in orbit around Eupanicus B3 in 3305 when all its inhabitants migrated to the nearby outpost Forester's Choice. And that's just not too far away from the Golconda, about 30,000 kilometers, something like that. It's quite close, you could fly it. Commander Javi Alvano, a regular visitor to the system, submitted his observations to Vox Galactica. I was convinced that these scavengers were breaking down the Golconda into scrap to feed their dredger, or maybe taking over the whole ship to use as a new home. But I haven't seen any signs of structural damage yet, and it doesn't look like the Artificers have accessed its inhabitation areas either. So what are they up to? They have noticed as well ships going to and from the Golconda and over to the Dredger's ship. Now what's this going to mean for us in the Elite Dangerous Galaxy? Could it mean even more story-driven arcs around the Golconda? I hope so, because it was all shrouded in mystery, and it would be good. I know we're a long way away from this, to get inside that Golconda and do a little bit of exploration as well, or perhaps even fight off the Dredger's if they're trying to gain control of it. But this is just me speculating and hoping with rosy colored glasses on once again. But it does represent an ideal opportunity by Frontier to use some of these lumbering hulks that are floating around the galaxy as in-game set pieces. Commander Javi Alvado continues with his comments. Things are a little weird in Forrester's Choice right now. It doesn't seem anywhere near as busy and many concourse vendors have closed down. There are almost a kind of religious hush. For centuries their entire existence relied upon the Golconda and now its presence nearby was reassuring. Now this, I think, is taken directly out of Battlestar Galactica. Anyway, that's just me. And its presence nearby was reassuring. I think outsiders interfere with it hasn't affected them deeply. The Federal Diplomatic Corps publishes an, an official reminder that the Forester's Choice has a partner status with the Federation, adding, as a micro-society that evolved in isolation, the Golcondon people are legally protected against cultural contamination. And we will continue to monitor the Artificer Clan's activity in this system. This more this is going to mean, it's going to mean another story arc. So I'm going to hang around this sort of system, I think, for a while with my main account and my warships, just in case things start getting a little bit fruity. But needless to say, this is not the first time everyone's been interested in the Golconda. This all started off around May the 13th, when they entered the Panicus system, where the Generation ship was currently residing. But nothing was said. Nothing was being done. There was no toing and froing of ships back then. All somebody got was a rapid burst of verbose language, which they couldn't make out. So when I made myself over to the Golconda, I did check this out. I scanned all the logs once again. I went over to the Artificer's Clan Dredger, went over there, scanned that. No messages were put into my communication section of my ship. 
and I was a bit disappointed by that, to be honest. But you never know, there's still time yet. Anyway, that was a little report on what's happening with the Golconda so far. I've been Ricardo, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you soon.